All right, so we are headed to our first RV show. Are you excited? Extremely. <laughs> No, that's the that's the rain spout. That's not an awning. But I mean, you could see the quality of it. It's got this outside kitchen on it. It's nice. So this is a Lance travel trailer, and we are in the back by the bed. It's got no slide outs, which is good if you're wanting simplicity. I, I like, like how these can I like the big win the you see the big window up front. This can slide up or down. You know, so in our if you want to leave the part, the top part. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, like in our our travel trailer, how in the back, if yes, you were parked out by the you know, we were parked out right. by the lake, you can't see it. But now with that, and you that can opens. open that big window. That opens so you can get so you can get air. air. It's got the little nooks, little reading nooks and stuff beside the bed storage i mean tons wow, of storage too two full closets. and that goes all the way to the back because they don't have because they just leave you the little cut out yeah they don't over the there it doesn't take out so you got this huge storage two drawers two drawers and then yeah i mean i mean look at storage under the fridge a massive amount of storage for What's that? This is probably not the storage. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, drawer. A massive amount of storage for a small travel trailer. Because then you have these Look drawers. Look at that. The oven. Wow, that's, that's a big drawer. And then you have all of these that open. Oh, that's, that's a microwave. A microwave. It has a like an airstream feel with the with the the rounded cabinets up top. Look at all the storage. Oh, and it's got like a pull, uh, like a shelf that you can adjust. What's I this? Mean, is this just a big? Oh, that's just a big skylight. Skylight up there. So you could essentially this one would be really good if you didn't want to, uh, if you were going to dry camp. Yeah, it would because be because you can open every window. They have you know has vent heads. The little, it has a full bathroom. So you've got a little pedestal like bathroom. Oh, is it this baby? Huh? <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's for wine bottles. It opens up. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a wine cellar in there. There's no books, which is perfect for someone yeah. for just a couple or uh, it, it has a really neat this is this an induction cooktop no it's a it's a burner cooktop but still it's yeah. really just it's oh, just yeah. just a stick on backsplash <laughs> the bathroom is actually pretty nice too all right let's take a look at this one there's a lot of people in there huh oh there's people in there Double axle, forty-two hundred pounds. Though. It's got so a screen door. These are the solid steps. Yeah. Even the name brand solid steps. Forty-two hundred pounds. This one's banky. It's got the table you have to set up. I don't like that. Looks cheap. You get this. You get this a lot in the smaller and it has one slide out this is a slide out but you get this a lot in your smaller I should have looked at this one first, not the other one like <laughs> you can't compare 
can't compare them very often. I don't know why it has gaps above the doors. That's interesting. I don't know if it's got the room so it could flex. I mean, the bathroom is so terrible. Mm. I don't like how the fridge is right at your front door either. Grandma was talking about all she needed was a porta potty. I get it. This yeah. is much more grandma's. But it's going to take chance to put out the slides. And look at the fridge. It's like right dad gun there. Yeah. Like, right, right as you walk in. I don't like that. But it lift up the bed so I can see the storage. It's because it's like wardrobe type of thing. Down Why does here. It have a oh, it's like a Murphy bed. Why does it have? Is that like a seat? I guess so you could put your. So you could sit down and put you your know? your shoes and stuff on. When you start keep talking about these compact RVs, I mean, they try to get as many amenities in here as they can for something smaller. I don't like the TV tray table. Yeah. You would have to, every day, every time that you got going, you would have to fold this in and out. Okay, so this is a Springdale. 1790 FQ. Ashley's initial thoughts. I like it. Ashley likes it. I like it because it's all set up. Yeah. Is this a slide out? That is. It's a small slide out. The that gives you more room here. The height on this. I don't know. I don't understand. I guess for the storage? Uh, yeah. Sometimes those slide outs have to have a. Um, the way they're they're built in, they have to be off up a little bit, so that would be and kind of an issue. I don't love the carpet next to the bed. Who, no. Who thought of that? But that's stupid. I guess that's somebody trying to cover up. It's cheaper than having to finish wood, I guess. When you're talking about trying to keep price points down. Well, laminate though it would have been cheaper than a piece of carpet. Yeah. Got some decent storage. Just got the little rack up here. But you can't with carpet there. What's, you can't use it. What's that thing? Looks like a canteen. Like a canteen holder. It's just hooks. It's an audio system. Oh. <laughs> it looks like a canteen. It's very simple, but once again, we're, we're, what we're looking for is simple. It's got the Dometic fridge, graystone fireplace. I mean, it, this is fireplace. not fireplace, microwave. I'm like, I don't know where in this place you see a fireplace. It's got a full bathroom. I mean, it's there's not a lot to it. One thing I don't like is I don't like the tiny windows. Yeah, but it's a tiny RV. I mean, there are no windows in the bathroom at all. No, there's like three tiny windows out here and then one big window. Yeah. But I don't, it's it's very plain compared to the, some of the ones we've seen, but then we're also talking about trying to keep the price point down, the right? I don't think Grandma would. May, she might not like all the black. I like well, black and the light. That could Grandma always might not like that it. could always be repainted if we if we wanted to to Lighten it up if we a bit. if we get one that was used and we could repaint it. Well, and and you I could guess the TV goes. Somewhere over there because uh, that this is a backing for it says that you could put a TV. See right here. Well, where's the TV going? Television mount bracker. So basically, there's in the wall. There's going to be in the wall. There's going to be a step right, a, a thing right here that you can screw the bracket into and put the TV there if you want a TV there. Grandma may not even want a TV. Grandma loves a TV to go to sleep too. Oh, okay. Well, then she would have to have a TV. It does have solid steps. That's a plus. Can you lift the bed? See what's underneath it? It's got good storage underneath. Hello. It's got good storage underneath. I don't know. Maybe. Pretty small. Yeah. It doesn't have any pass through. I don't know why they didn't do it open all the way. Is it because the tires back there? Is there no there? Well, there's no tires. The tires are down here, back toward the back. That's got to have a pass through somewhere. It doesn't. It was a Explorer. 
by Riverside RV. And that is the entire thing. Little pass through storage. Well, that's not little, that's huge. You can hold a whole propane tank in there. Power tongue jack. Power tongue jack. Spare tire underneath the. That's interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen that either. And let's get the specs over here. Uh, 3,600 pounds. Pretty cool. Okay, so this is a rear entry. So you're walking in through the back. Refrigerator front. got the toilet, shower, got one couch, bed, sink with a stove, microwave, and a little bit of storage. Is there any storage underneath the bed? Oh yeah, I didn't get the shelf up front. No storage. No, no storage. Got some drawers. Look at, those are kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. What happens when you pull them up? Oh, you lift him up. Hmm. Uh, so I wanted to show this one because it has a unique layout. It's got these bunk beds behind the sofa. Sofa, bunk beds. It's a pretty neat little layout. I'm not doing a lot of filming right now because this place is packed. This is one of the few RVs you didn't have to wait in line to get into. Kitchen. Got a nice big U-shaped dinette. And there's the refrigerator, but it's one of those that you have to pass through the bathroom to get to the master bedroom. Now there is a second door. So if you had a kid that had was having an extended stay in the restroom, at least you, you go you, out, you go out outside to get back in but interesting i just thought it was really neat the bunk beds and the kind of in the back a different little view has a little closet there we'll get the make and model here it's a K2 Sportsman SE 281BH. So in this one, it's your bedroom's a little set back and a little more, you can put baskets or uh, bins up there. You've got two full closets on the side. And then you've got your plugs down here, like a little nightstand. Then you have a place for a TV here in your, that's the other thing. I don't think the other one had a place for a TV where you could see it from the bed. This one does. And, but your shower is kind of open, so you wouldn't want anybody in here but you when you were taking a shower. And then you've got a toilet that is closed off with a sink and and stuff. Um, and then you have your fridge right here. But instead of a sofa, you have a dinette, so you could choose if you wanted the sofa or the dinette, like the other one. This one is a little bit bigger, so You've got a bigger it's stove top. 3,500 pounds 11. and it's 21 feet long. So, still very doable. Has a table. Lots of storage above the table. Has a sink, but it has a cover over it too, so you can use the sink for counter space, but one large sink. And then it has a shower but not a high step up lots of room in the bathroom storage in the bathroom storage over the table and then you have your bed and you've got storage on either side little closets and above and then back here behind the bed you've got lots of little storage with plugs 
That way you can charge your phone. I like this one. Okay, so we finished the RV show and so tell us, and we're, we're sitting, we're not driving for all you naysayers out there. We are sitting still in a parking lot. We're about to go in and watch Carly play some volleyball. It just so happens that she was having a volleyball tournament here while we were having our anniversary trip. So we're about to go in and, and watch her play. And, uh, but what was your impression of your first RV show? There were more people than I thought that would be there. I thought it would just be me and you. <laughs> There was a lot of people there, and I knew that RV shows were big deals. I mean, I knew that people, a lot of people went to them. We did go, we were there on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. Which I think would be the busiest day to go on, because it's, Sundays are probably going to be pretty dead, and Thursday and Friday people are working. Right. So. so, obviously, we probably went on a Saturday, but I don't know if they're all like that or not, but this place was packed. It was and, less busy in the morning when we first got there, because we got there probably, what, like, 10.30? We got there at 10, yeah, just, just a little after 10. And it opened at 10. At 10. And so, while it was getting busy, it was, there was people, a lot of people there. It right. wasn't busy, busy until after lunch, and then it was... And we took a lot... Most of our filming was done at, the like, the very beginning, because after we had been there for a little bit, it was so busy that we really couldn't... I mean... We couldn't even get in and out of the RVs. There were times we had to wait in line to, to step up into and the RV. And still somebody would, like, push you out of the way <laughs> and get in there. There's a few times where I was about to walk in, and somebody would bolt in front of me to get up there. I mean... And there was only, what, five Class A's? Yeah, no, I don't even know if it was that many. Yeah, there were, and they were all Winnebago's, which is fine, but um, we weren't really in a... Lot a, of travel trailers. A lot of travel trailers. A lot of mini travel trailers. Yeah, and which, I mean, we we looked at those too, and but I wanted to look at some Class A's. There was only five or six Class A's there, and because there was so few of them, those were Everybody extremely popular. We stepped into one of the Winnebago, the Winnebago Forza, mm -hmm. And there was probably, there's probably 20 six people. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you're probably, I, was, I was probably exaggerating, but there is at least 20 people. In that, in that, that RV. In that RV. At once. And all was standing in there at the same time. <laughs> and, and then you had to like wait in line to get in and then wait in line to get out. I mean. Yeah. This one guy was like, I'm trying to get by. And I'm like, I'm trying to get out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was, it was quite, it was crowded. It was, it had that busy theme park feel where you were having like, turn sideways to walk up and down the aisles it got so big so i didn't feel like breaking out the camera and filming when there was that many people around no. um but i enjoyed it it was fun i wish there was about half that many people there um that way we really because there were some rvs that we didn't even go into a lot of rvs we didn't go into and there were a lot that i wish i could have spent a little bit more time in but especially the smaller ones you walk in and there's like 10 people waiting on you to come out so they can go in so it just kind of felt you felt rushed you did feel rushed the entire time so but it was fun and a couple of times we felt like we were kind of being a little bombarded yeah by um sales people and they a lot of the rvs there were sold um and i don't know if that's an rv th it's, or is it just the time that we live in where rvs are in such high demand yeah. that they're just there were i mean most of the rvs there had a sold sign on them which we weren't looking to purchase this well, time yeah but a lot of them when we were coming when we start first started earlier this morning weren't sold and then when we were kind of circling back and looking at some of the ones we had already looked at they were all had signs on them saying sold which is fine i mean that's what they're there for is to be sold but you know, it was it was definitely um, an experience and one that I would like to do again. Maybe we go on a day where it's not going to be as busy so we can spend some actual time um, looking at them and going in and out of them. And I just enjoy, I, I enjoy seeing the different designs and things like yeah, that. Yeah, I would like to go to a what, an RV show that's not necessarily for selling RVs, but maybe just like, you know, like you go to a car show, there are already cars that people own. They're just like right. letting you, I don't know if that thing exists for RVs. Like, yeah, there are some, RVs. and that's, that's a good point. There were n almost no RVs there that were like cutting edge or some that very, there were very few that were of your, um, high class, you know, RVs, you know, they're, they're yeah. very standard 
Um, very they much your, thing that most people would buy. Most people would buy, which right, at us, they're here to sell them. Right. And we were kind of looking for. Um, we wanted to see stuff we hadn't seen before. Right. You know? We did. Maybe like a like, and because too, we wanted to kind of see like airstream. Like maybe we were hoping for like an airstream right. or something that was kind of like um, different than what we had ever seen before. But most yeah, of the they things had, were anything you would. They go had on no the airstreams there. They had no. The only really kind of cool thing that we saw. Other than some a couple of different like floor plan designs, one of the very first uh, ones we went into is that Lance trailer. Yeah, that, that one was, was cool. that was really nice. And then it was kind of cool to see some of the teardrop ones. Um, yeah, we had never seen those. Yeah. I never like actually seen in like a camper van. Yeah, or a camper van, the <laughs> Class B. So th that, but I mean, for most RV people, they've seen those. We just. And I, I would think that the all the booths and stuff there, there wasn't really anything super outstanding there either. No, I mean, I, you could tell it was a lot of local vendors. And, I mean, one of them was Cincy. And yeah. one of them, you know. The only cool thing that we saw was the porch. Yeah, the people selling the deck pieces. Yeah, they were like deck pieces. But it was really overpriced. It's very overpriced, even for their show sale. Yeah. It was very overpriced. For, I mean, because it was basically you know, yeah. plastic pallets, but, and then, um, and I mean, there was a girl there with solar panels. That was kind of cool to, to see that you could add solar panels to your RV to help if you're a boondocking or whatever. So I would say that I think our consensus is while it was fun and definitely something that would probably do again. Um, there were some things I think that could have made it better and we don't have, we have zero comparison. <laughs> we've yeah, we've, we've never, never been, been to before. one, so um, I, I don't know if they're all like this or if there's some that are different and some that are better. Um, but it, it was it was neat. I enjoyed it, especially the first hour I was there. I thought it was really fun, and then the last hour I was there, I was kind of I was over it. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was over the crowd. I was over some. There were some super nice people there, and then there were some super rude people there yeah towards the beginning when we first got there yeah. you know we made a couple of friends in the rvs just chatting and whatever and um but then towards the end i mean people were just like bumping you out of the way they were just cutting in you know front get yeah. going in and out and it, and it seemed like a lot of people were doing paperwork so the salesman pressure got less as more people were there because they had right other people to pressure but and as as the day went on people started getting tired so they would just camp out in the campers yeah <laughs> literally like you'd walk by one and someone's like sitting in the yeah, recliner hanging out hanging out with and the, you'd walk in and you'd be like i'm I'm sorry, we're just and they were to look, and they're like, oh, no, we're they taking were, a break. They were selling beer so and yeah. alcohol, so they'd be, like, sitting there with their Bud Light drinking in the recliner in the RV while camping. you're trying to watch a TV because <laughs> all the TVs were on. So they were, like, camping in the campers while we were trying to, to look around. So um, it, the first part was fun. Towards the end, I think I was ready to go. Um, but it's definitely something that um, I, I would – I would do again. Yeah, so, I'd like to go to one. So if you've never been to one, I hope that kind of helped you out. But It would be, if you're in the market to buy, it really would be beneficial to go to one. Yeah. Because, I mean, when we bought our first camper, we just saw one. We're like, because we really hadn't mm -hmm. even looked inside campers. So the first one we went into, of course, was like, oh, you know, and we're like, yeah, we want it. Let's get this one. Where now, after going and viewing like a ton of them, we can see that we would have chose right. something to, that there's, even if it's just a minute detail difference that you're like, oh, I would have much more preferred that over I, what we had. I wish that we had gone, we had gone to one of these shows before purchasing our first travel trailer because it just would have showed us so many different floor plans and yeah. everything to go and, and, and how it can vary in weight yeah. and length and we i mean we thought we had just a really you know giant one well then we saw ones that were like even bigger but mm. then we saw a lot that were smaller i mean there's it's definitely beneficial if you haven't bought to go and see and to see the range of price and so i think that going through these you can see some of the ones that you got that we got more bang for your buck and so it is, it can be very beneficial, I think. And 
I think the next time that we are looking to upgrade, um, which, you know, depending on gas prices these days, who knows, but we upgrade from our gasser to our di to a diesel pusher, which I'd like to do eventually, then we may go to another RV show um, and one that maybe specializes more in, uh, in yeah motorhomes and see what we can get. But um, anyway, I guess now it's volleyball time. Okay, so it's the next day, and we are about to do um, one of the things that we really like to do, which is go to a hockey game. It's something that Ashley actually enjoys, unlike the RV show. <laughs> she doesn't watch hockey on TV, but she'll walk ho watch hockey in person. That's true. Is there any reason for that? I like live events. I don't like televised events. If you cannot hear her, she says she likes live events, not televised events. They can hear me. <laughs> I was just making sure. Anyway, Dallas Stars. We are in downtown Dallas. We're about to go into the American Airlines Center and watch the Dallas Stars play the Buffalo Sabres, I believe. So, I don't know. It's always fun. We're not huge hockey fans, um, but we in do enjoy going to live games. And the hockey environment's a really fun environment. I know. So... Plus, it's really nice inside. All right. So, we're here really early. Um, in fact, we were like the second person in the parking lot. <laughs> but it's better than being late, I guess. Yeah. So, we enjoy getting in early, though. Getting our food, finding our seats, kind of being there watching for the... Watching the hockey players warm up. Watching the hockey players warm up. I could say something about the ice... <laughs> girls that like <laughs> scrape the ice or what are, what are they called? Mm, they're cute too. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we uh, let's, we're going to walk around downtown Dallas for 45 minutes because the gates don't open yet, but um, see what we can find. Alright? Alright, let's go.